Hey, Go Golf 365 members, I want to give you a little bit of a rundown here on three different kinds of short game shots that can really serve your purpose all the way from right to the edge of the green, back out to about 35 or 40 yards, depending on your ability level. Those three swings are the bump and run, the hinge and hold, and the toss shot, right? Now, some people might call it a chip shot instead of a bump and run. Some people might call it a pitch shot instead of a toss shot, and that's okay. Those are just the words that I use. And so first, let's talk about the bump and run, right? So it's a very small swing. Doesn't really require anything more than just a rock of the shoulders and a very tiny little wrist set, right? And then you just let your body go with the shot, right? Just let the energy flow toward the target, okay? Now that's gonna get you right from about five yards off the edge of the green to where the ball's just gonna carry onto the green and then release. Depending on what club you use, it might roll out a little further or a little shorter. But if you're a little further away from that, say maybe five yards to back out to about 15 yards away from the edge of the green, you need to hit it a little harder, right? Well, you're gonna add a little bit of wrist hinge to the bump and run, right? So the bump and run just had some shoulder rock and a tiny little bit of wrist set. Now you're gonna really add some wrist hinge and we're gonna call that the hinge and hold, right? Now the reason we call it the hinge is because we have hinge here. The hold is because we hold the finish at about the same height that we did the backswing, okay? So the hinge and hold, it looks something like this, okay? Ball's gonna carry five to 15 yards. Now let's say you're a little longer than 15 yards, 15 yards back out to maybe 30, 35 yards. Here's the toss shot, some people call it the pitch. We're gonna add a little bit of arm swing to what we did with the hinge and hold. So the bump and run here with a little bitty wrist hinge, hinge and hold added wrist hinge, toss shot's gonna add arm swing to what we did with the hinge and hold, right? So shoulders go a little, wrist set, arm swing, and then through to the same distance. Think about a clock, right? If you swing it back to nine o'clock, make sure you finish it at three o'clock. We don't want to finish shorter or longer. Those are your three kinds of swings. It helps you to gauge how long of a backswing you make. That's the difference in the bump and run, the hinge and hold, and the toss shot. Each flies or carries the ball a little bit farther, and that helps you get right from the edge of the green back out to, again, about 30, 35 yards for that toss shot or that pitch shot. And so that should help you carry, carry over to lots of different situations. If you mix and match different wedges and different clubs, you get different results again. Short game's all about options. That's three shots for you to take and practice while you're out there. Bump and run, hinge and hold, toss shot or pitch shot. We add just a little bit of swing length by adding a lever. First, a little bit of wrist hinge, then a little bit of arm swing, and that gets us some options. Try that next time you're out there. Build your repertoire of short game shots, and short game gets a lot easier, all right? Any questions you got about that, leave them for me. I'll get to as many of them as I can. I wanna help you guys get better around the green. Try it out, three different kinds of shots. Build your short game arsenal, you get a lot better.